I had no illusions about you, he said. I knew you were silly and frivolous and empty-headed, but I loved you. I knew that your aims and ideals were vulgar and commonplace, but I loved you. I knew that you were second-rate, but I loved you. It's comic when I think how hard I tried to be amused by the things that amused you, and how anxious I was to hide from you that I wasn't ignorant and vulgar and scandal-mongering and stupid. I knew how frightened you were of intelligence, and I did everything I could to make you think me as big a fool as the rest of the men you knew. I knew that you'd only marry me for convenience. I loved you so much, I didn't care. Most people, as far as I can see, when they are in love with someone and the love isn't returned, feel that they have grievance. They grow angry and bitter. I wasn't like that. I never expected you to love me. I didn't see any reason that you should. Never thought myself very lovable. I was thankful to be allowed to love you, and I was enraptured when now and then I thought you were pleased with me, or when I noticed in your eyes a gleam of good-humored affection. I tried not to bore you with my love. I knew I couldn't afford to do that, and I was always on the lookout for the first sign that you were impatient with my affection. What most husbands expect as a right, I was prepared to receive as a favor.